G'day and welcome to my build of Bronco's 35th scale M24 Korean War Chaffee. It'll be one out of three in a line of American Korean War tanks that I plan on building somewhat back to back and painting all at the same time. For those of you that are wanting a quick answer, this is a damn good kit, but I'll be expanding on that further, including the negatives. Starting off, the designing detail put into this kit actually caught me off guard as I hadn't built any Bronco kits before, and I simply purchased it because it was a chaffy and they're a personal favourite of mine. It became very clear that they gave it a brilliant shot where the exterior details are concerned, and this does continue on into the turret's interior, which is to my understanding, complete or very close to it. Firstly, the cost is generally around $75 for the kit, and is readily available at hobby stores Australia-wide. It's entirely worth that price, and on a scale ranging through beginner, advanced, and expert, I'd put this square in the middle at advanced, and that's due to the etching and the amount of fiddly work involved. The length of time taken to build mine did vary, as I lost a lot of time doing the photo etch sections, which there is quite a lot of, and personally I'm not the best at photo etching, so this came as a bit of a challenge for me, making it even funner. I will note one of the first negatives, however, which is actually the photo etching itself. I'm used to a great majority of kits including a molded option for almost everything alongside the options for the etching. This one does not contain both, with a lot of very fine pieces being etched, and are more delicate than other etching I've had in the past. But for me personally, that doesn't ruin the level of enjoyment that I had. While on the topic of negatives, my biggest pet peeve in any model kit is having tow cables supplied in a cotton fabric. It's just a personal thing, and I genuinely think it's better as molded, or like a few other brands do, giving you a metal length to work with. Thankfully I have a lot of spare cabling for this exact reason, so mine was switched out. And you will note that yes, it is oversized. One thing that I also hadn't seen before with sprues was the numbering being laid out like a book, with say 1 to 32 on the left side of the sprue, and 33 through 68 on the right side as an example. Set out like words of a book, if that makes sense. Speaking of books, the instructions feel and look of solid quality, with only a few minor errors here and there, and they ultimately didn't cripple the builds and could easily be double checked to the box art or real life images in a matter of moments. If you're looking to use this model in a diorama, or just want a little bit of extra detailing, you'll be happy to learn that there's also 6 jerry cans included, along with some satchels and a bedroll to get you started. To backtrack around to the turret, and the fact that it has a lovely detailed interior, I won't be building my interior details, as all of my hatches will be closed to this one. But with that in mind, it would be pretty neat if an official interior set was added onto this already existing kit, and I'm quite sure they'd put the same attention to details in, which would be really awesome. So as a final comparison, my last Chaffee built, which was a long, long time ago now, is not really the greatest work I've done admittedly, but it was an Italeri kit, and for what I paid it was pretty neat all in all, especially with an included metal barrel. However, if I was given the option of the two side by side, I'd definitely go the Bronco without hesitation. It comes down to the Bronco kit having so much more detail, optioning, and just ended up being more of a satisfying result. Now, I've got just a few more bits to tidy up and mess with, including adding some metal antennas, because I don't like it when kits make you melt the sprue and fiddle with it for the antennas, and that's just personal. I'll be moving on to the second tank, TACOM's M46 pattern, for the continuation of this line as the next 35th scale video. I hope this video is in some way helpful if you're considering a chaffy kit, and maybe you'll enjoy the pattern just as much. Until next time, have a good one!